What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, bringing you guys a Trick Room Gardevoir team for Ranked Regulation F. Now, Gardevoir, really dope Pokemon from Generation 3. Absolutely love it and love its typing with Fairy and Psychic. Hasn't been seeing much of the spotlight in Ranked Regulation F. But in today's video, we're rocking out with a nice little off-meta Gardevoir team. Loving it. Cannot wait to showcase it with this Urshfu. Now, this Urshfu, a little bit different than most, right? It's got the Power Belt. And honestly, I believe I was reading up on it. The Power Belt cuts speed in half. So I think this Urshfu is super, super slow. Going to be able to thrive out in Trick Room. Hitting hard with certain strikes, close combat, and Aqua Jet. Gonna definitely throw some opponents off and really get rocking with that. But back to Gardevoir here. Gardevoir has the trace ability so it can actually copy opponents' abilities alongside with the Citrus Berry as its item. So if they go into, say, Intimidate Incineroar and Gardevoir's on the field, we're just gonna trace that ability, bounce that Intimidate right back onto that physical attacker, pretty much get rolling from there. Gardevoir has a great move set of Expanding Force to thrive out up against some Psychic Terrain teams. It's got Dazzling Gleam for Stab. It's got Trick Room, like we already mentioned, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Super excited to use this Pokemon, haven't used it in a good bit. But this team also features a couple other solid Pokemon, such as Tyranitar. Tyranitar, pretty slow Pokemon, gonna be able to thrive out on the Trick Room, and on top of that, gives this team weather control. We also got Primarina, we got Salamence with Life Orb, and then our Lonesome Support Pokemon is Sinisho with that Hospitality to recover a little bit of HP for the squad. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really dope off meta squad. Check it out Alolan Raichu, Reggie Draco, Lantern, Iron Leaves, Umbreon, and Regilecki. This is awesome. I love going up against teams like this. I love going up against teams like this, but we got to pop Gardevoir Trick Room here to get rolling here in match number one. We're also going to be bringing Primarina for the lead. I kind of like Primarina, but I believe they're going to lead Alolan Raichu. So in that case, maybe we just want to go into like Salamence or even Titar. Kind of would rather go into Titar. So I'm going to go Titar here. I'm going to bring Urshfu and Primarina in the back end. I'm all about it, yo. I love versing off meta teams. I love versing teams like this. Hopefully, they got some like crazy cool combo and they get to showcase it off, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. But I got a huge update for the channel. We're going to be uploading some different content on the channel probably every two weeks to a month now. I have to like write this like script out and I got a lot of editing to do. So, this video actually going to take a while. Bear with me. But if you guys ever watch the Wolfie Glitch content, I'm going to be making some content kind of like that every two weeks to a month. And on top of that, we're still going to be doing this Pokemon content every single day. So, hopefully, you guys are excited for new content. Let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you guys got video ideas for me, let me know in the comment section down below. But they're going to lead Raichu alongside with Lantern. This just feels like we have to pop Trick Room. They could fake me out. Definitely an option. But I could go for a knockoff, which is exactly what I'm going to do. The knockoff is going to come across here. We have the the T-Tar on the field. Lantern's looking a little scary. And he's going to fake out the T-Tar, which is fine. Because then I get to pop Trick Room. Then I get to pop Trick Room. And you're popping Electric Terrain. So you're, you want to you wanna, uh, Surge Surfer this thing and double its speed. Which is fine, because guess what? We're popping Trick Room. Your speed don't matter. Your speed do not matter. It do not matter. It do not matter. <laughs> but Buff is going to fly through it. Any focus sashes, get them on out of here. We're not dealing with them. So now I could use knockoff. I could probably take out the Raichu with it. Because Raichu is kind of a glass cannon, if I'm being honest. Pretty much a glass cannon. I could go for Expanding Force. Or I could go for Dazzling Gleam. And I kind of just want to go for Expanding Force into the Lantern. We don't have the terrain, but still. Should be solid damage. Protect comes out from the Raichu. Lantern probably looking to go for a water move. Hopefully Titar can soak. Especially because it is in the sandstorm. The knockoff is going to get buzzing across. Get blocked by the Raichu. Expanding Force is going to fly. Expanding Force. How much damage are you doing? Okay. Not as much as we would like. But we like the damage. Muddy Water comes out here. And we soak. Big time soaks coming out here. Buff is going to fly again, ship up some damage, and we're going to look to go for another knockoff into the Shraichi slot, because I, I got to I gotta hit this thing. We could end up Terrasalizing, and in that case, we're just going to go with Dazzling Gleam now. Actually, let's go for Rock Slide. Let's go for Rock Slide, because I believe he is going to Terrasalize. I should probably go for a knockoff, but I'm going to go for Rock Slide, just in case he swaps or Terrasalizes at Raichu. We'll see, and I mean, if it doesn't Terrasalize, no, he goes for a double Protect. Looks to go for a double protect here. 
That's fine. The rock side is going to. Oh my lord. Rock side actually did so much damage. And Dazzle Gleam is going to finish off both of these guys. So Gardevoir driving out here, matching one, picking up a double KO with the help of Titar Rock Slide. And that was a good call for me to actually switch into Rock Slide because that did some damage, man. That did some damage. Big time Rock Slide coming out from Titar. Now they're going into their final two Pokemon. We have complete speed control. I hope it's like Umbreon because I like Umbreon. It's going to be Reggie Draco and show me Umbreon. Show me Umbreon. That's going to be Verizon. So I believe, or not Verizon, Iron Leaves. I believe Iron Leaves is fighting in grass. I believe so. So, Thousand Gleam should be super effective onto the Draco. But are you fighting type? Let's see. No, you're psychic type. I was going to say. I was going to say, because Dazzle Gleam should be super effective on you. But, Reggie Draco might Thrasalize. I'm still going to launch Dazzle Gleam. I'm just going to go for knockoff in this slot. I like where we're sitting. We got super effective shots going into both sides. We got a few turns left in Trick Room. We saw that slow, slow Urshfu in the back end. But Gardevoir really just thriving out here in match number one. Look at that Reggie Draco just staring me in the face. Leave me alone, dog. <laughs> Reggie Draco is so sick. So out comes the Terra. I believe it is going to go into the Reggie Draco slot. Probably Steel Fairy. Let's see. What you got cooking? Steel. So not bad. I mean, I have Urshifu to deal with that in the back end. So if I just start chipping up some damage into this Iron Leaves, we can really just get cooking from here. Knockoff going to come across here. <laughs> Big time damage. One shot in this Verizian. Why do I keep calling it Verizian? It's Iron Leaves, Jeans. Get on it. All right. So we take out the Iron Leaves. That's really going to do about negative five. Negative six, we should say. And Terra Blast going to get cooking here. And this is something we don't like. A big steel ball landing into my Gardevoir. Which we soak. Not stab damage is awesome. Because now we have the Citrus Burn. Cool. Dope. Awesome. And that pretty much... Doesn't solidify the game. Not really. I mean, we won this game, no problem. But, like, my Pokemon can't really do any damage to this thing. Right? I mean, Knockoff can. So we'll go for that. We'll go for Knockoff. And this thing's just going to protect and try to waste out Trick Room turns. Yo, you're not winning this game. I don't know what our opponent's thinking. Thinking they have a shot. You're not one before me. I simply won't allow it. I simply won't allow it. It's just not happening. I'd run the battle before you won before me. Actually, that would still be a 1v4. I'm not doing it. It's just not happening. Let's be honest. I got Urshifu in the back end. I got Primarina. You're not one shot in either of those Pokemon. And we can start chipping up damage on you. So I'm going to keep spamming Expanded Force and knock off. And I'm surprised they haven't just canceled this battle. They're probably like, yo, I'm versing jeans. I got to do a 1v4 comeback. You're, it's just not happening. It's just not happening. Dragon Energy going to fly here. Doesn't affect my Gardevoir. Actually, does some nice damage to T-Tar. But my T-Tar survives. Expanded Force going to fly. Bop doing about negative 6. And hopefully Knockoff can actually do a little bit more damage there. And it does, yo. T-Tar's hitting hard. He's hitting hard today. He's hitting real hard. So there's match number one. We grab a nice little sweep. Gardevoir starts off 1-0. Moving on to match number two, would love to use Gardevoir just as much as we did in match number one. We're going up against a Brit of a Rain Squad with Pelipper, Reggie Alecki, which probably has Thunder to thrive out in the rain. And on top of that, they have Urshifu. So Titar, going to be a big friend of ours, right? We're going to have to bring it in the back end, hopefully swap in there and grab some weather control. But Primarina is not going to be bad, especially if they do set the weather, they do go Reggie Alecki. We could always Trashalize into that Dragon type. Not bad, not bad. But I am going to go Gardevoir here. And I might also lead a Pokemon like, <clears throat> like Sinisha. Sinisha could be good just for redirections of moves. So Gardevoir can pop the Trick Room and then we can really get the Rhyme from there. That's something I'm kind of leaning towards. So do I do that? I could maybe just allow him to set up Rain and just go like Urshifu Primarina. That could be pretty good. And I'm kind of leaning towards that. I really actually like that. I really like that. We're going to allow him to set up Rain. We're not even going to bring T-Tar. So scratch my whole plan from the beginning. Like, oh, I got to bring T-Tar in the back end. No, we're going to allow him to set up the Rain. We're just going to get the Trick Room off and then have my Rain Pokemon be slower than them doing ridiculous amounts of damage. So I'm all about it. We're doing it. We're doing it right here. Right here on the channel. And if it fails, it's all me. It's all good. We're 1-0 so far. Let's look to go 2-0. Let's see who they end up leading. Pelipper, Regilecki, potentially? Golden Go for Riggies. Okay. We hate that. We hate that because I have the worst Terra type. I do have good gold now, but my Terra type is straight blah. <laughs> it's just so bad. Um, Do you have Trick Room Sinisha? 
Hold up, we have a plan. We got a plan now. We got a plan. Are they gonna go for Trick Room? I don't know. I'm gonna protect Cardboard and go for Trick Room. Make it range flying. And I wonder what Perigraph's going for. Perigraph could be going for Trick Room. And it is going for Trick Room. Oh my lord, Frick Rap, come on now. The real question is, are you going for Trick Room just to cancel my Trick Room? Or are you actually trying to set up Trick Room? Let's see. Let's see, let's see their Pokemon. It seems like you're just trying to counter my Trick Room, right? I wonder if we can soak up and make it rain. I do wonder if we can soak up and make it rain here. He's gonna go for helping hand, which you cannot use on your golden go, which is huge. Machigachi gonna come through here. He's going for another make it rain here. And I'm hoping Gardevoir can soak this up because I know Sinisha cannot. Well, Sinisha probably can now, but with that 68 HP, I don't think it was able to. So I get back a decent amount of HP. Gardevoir, can you soak this? Probably not, right? It does, that's beautiful, because now I get off Trick Room. Now I have Trick Room fully out and about. I got Trick Room out. And Gardevoir actually might have been able to soak up the first Make It Rain. So they kind of counter my Trick Room in turn one. They can still counter my Trick Room, which is kind of annoying. And now I'm going to have to go for Dash and Gleam, and I'm just going to have to go for a, another Machi Gachi here. Hold go is rather low on attack or special attack, so they might try to pop another trick room. Oh my lord, this could get annoying. We need to get rid of this freaking ramp ASAP. It needs to go out. It needs to die. It needs to die, but it seems like it could soak up easily my Dazzling Gleam and the Spot you gotcha. And get off another trick room, no problem. Or we're just gonna hope that our opponent's like, oh, okay, they have trick room, we're not gonna try to cancel it out. That's, that's, that's my hopes. That be my hopes. But after two turns, we finally get off this Trick Room. I think Golden Go has a chance of swapping here, considering it is minus two. And yeah, they are going to swap it into Show Me Urshfu. Show Me Urshfu, that'd be awesome. Pelipper, not a bad swap. Not a bad swap. So the rain comes out and about. I, I believe they're going to... Oh no, they're just going to go for Dazzle Cream. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Machigachi's going to fly here. Shape up some more damage. And I get back some nice HP for that. I get off some, I get back some awesome HP for that. Look at that, about 50 HP. Oh my lord, Majikatch is actually so good. Dazzling Gleam is going to follow behind that, do some nice damage, and honestly, another Majikatch Dazzling Gleam could KO. Maybe not the free graph anymore. It's going to be cutting it close. I hope so. We're going to do it again. Dazzling Gleam, Majikatch coming in hot. We love it. So Truck really helping us. Now they have rain. So if I can, I'm in the back end. With Urshifu and Primarina. That's something I really like. Especially with Golden Go. I still have Terra as well. Not bad. Not bad at all. I actually need a few turns left in Trick Room with my Rain Pokemon. I really do. But slow early play here. I'm surprised they didn't pop a Trick Room last turn. I'm really happy they didn't. But they end up just withdrawing for a grab. They're probably going back into Golden Go, I would think. Yeah, and now Golden Go can take some damage, and he goes for a Y Guard, which is very smart. Very smart. Kind of annoying, to be honest. Because my Trick Room turns are just not doing well here. They're not going. We're not getting much value out of the Trick Room. So let's see how many turns we actually have left. Um, I'm going to have to switch to Expanding Force. And, hmm. Because he, he's just going to Y Guard again next turn. But we only have two turns left in the trick room, so I'm kind of hoping they KO somebody here. I'm going to go for Expanded Force into Pelipper. And on top of that... I mean, I could try to go for Machigacha, or I could just go for a Strength Sap. I mean, do have good gold. I don't really know what we should do here. Rage Powder in case the Pelipper survives. Ends up just withdrawing the Pelipper. I knew I should have went for a Machigacha. 
I knew it. So they hard swap back into Frigoraph? Yeah, they bring back out the giraffe here. Rage Powder going, gonna get cooking. So Rage Powder up. He's gonna end up going for Make It Rain. That should double KO, right? And now we have one turn left in Chicken with two of our, our rain Pokemon, our water type Pokemon. So we get to go into Urshpoo. I get to go into Primarina. And I kind of like where we're sitting there, unless they choose to just protect out. But I mean, at, at this point, At this point, we should just search and strikes into the Golden Go. Because Golden Go is going to be the one to protect if anybody does. And I can try to pop Throat Spray here as well. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. We know they have Pelipper. Um, I'm going to go for that Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice. And go for just a search and strikes into Golden Go slot. They might end up swapping into Pelipper. But if that's the case, Pelipper already did take a little bit of damage. I think Surgeon Strikes and Hyper Voice should KO. So this is our last turn in Trick Room, so outside of this, this one's going to be tough. They did waste it actually really, really well. Got to give it to our opponents. But look at that little smug look that Golden Go has. It just annoys me. Little grin. How dare you, Golden Go? I hope you don't protect. I hope we just KO you. Grinning at me like that. Little smug look. <laughs> I don't want to see it again because it's actually kind of funny. Looks so derpy. Surgeon Strike's going to fly here. This is going to KO no problem. See you later, Golden Go. Get on out my face. And I don't think Hyper Voice is going to KO this thing, but it is going to pop my Throat Spray, which I'm super excited for. I'm scared of Fairy Move. I probably should Thrasilize the Urshifu, food, to be honest with you guys. Hyper Voice comes across here, and it does KO. The rain going crazy. So good thing we actually didn't Thrasilize. Loving the rain. There's my Throat Spray pop, a plus two on special attack. And now it turns into a 2v1 situation with Pelipper on the field, who probably thinks I'm going for another Liquid Voice. Or I should be calling it Hyper Voice, not Liquid Voice. So they might end up Y Guarding. So let's see, they go Urshfu of their own. And they end up going Pelipper. Paloops comes out here. So Moonblast is going to be our play here, I think for you. Do we Terrasalize Poison? I kind of just like our typing here. I kind of just like our typing. Actually, we should Terrasalize Poison just in case the Hurricane wants to fly into the slot. We don't have to take a big, super effective shot. So I'm going to double down into this Urshifu slot. I kind of go from there. I'm doubling down in Urshifu here. We need to get rid of Urshifu. So solid second match. Long drawn out. They waste out Trick Room. Down to the wire here. We Terrasalize our Urshifu. We're not dealing with the Hurricane. Potentially coming into the slot. Even though I think they're wide guard. This is just for a little bit of safety measures here, right? They're going to Terrasalize as well. So we go Terra for Terra. Bear for bear switching typings here, right? Yep, double bear swap. And they're gonna go water. So we're going for close combat and moon blast into the slot. Um I wonder what Pelper's doing. He's going for Hurricane in the Prima Arena. Which does a lot of damage, a bit too much damage. Moon Blast actually outspeeds that Urshfu and oh my lord. Free Marina plus one doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And I didn't even see what his focus sash or did he get a free focus sash? Not too sure, but your Urshfu being slower than my Urshfu, really weird. I think we had the same idea of going super slow Urshfu. Yours was just slower than mine. Right? Because this is a slow Urshfu with the power belt. 103? It's a slow Urshfu. That's a slow Urshfu. But from here, we go Moonblast. And on top of that, we just go for... I mean, Rain's gone, so honestly... Actually, Turn Strikes will still probably KO. So we'll just double down into Pelipper, and they just cancel the battle. So 2-0, killing it here in match number 2. Final match on its way, and your boy is 2-0, showcasing Guard. Kind of want to use it again. Kind of have to use it again, considering they do have a nice, speedy, fast team with a Tailwind user such as Tornado. So Gardevoir, you're coming in the lead here. We are trying to pop the Trick Room. So I could actually pop it with Sinisha. That's actually an option as well, but I'm going to go Gardevoir. I'm going to go Gardevoir. That's the Pokemon we're showcasing. Let's bring it in in all three matches. But I think they're going to lead a Pokemon like Tornadus. Iron Hand's definitely an, an option here as well. And to be honest, now that I think about it, two Fake Out users, Sinisha probably has to be our play. I'm going to go Sinisha. I am going to go Sinisha. Gardevoir, sorry about that. You played in two matches. I think I showcased you really well today. Um, huh. In our second slot, I could go Salamence, but I haven't really used Salamence too much. But I feel like the threat of Fluttermane being the lead here could be tough. I mean, Intimidate actually works well, so maybe I want to do that. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. We're gonna go Prima Arena in the back end, and last but not least, we are going to go. I think we should go Titar to be honest with you. Titar and then either Urshfu or Prima Arena, and I'm leaning towards Urshfu. I am leaning towards Urshfu. And the reason I want Titar is because it seems like this team really thrives out in the sun, right? They got Photosynthesis on Gouging Fire, onto Fluttermane, onto Walking Wake. So it leads me to think that Tornadus is Rocket Sunny Day. So if they do want to pop Sunny Day, get all those Photosynthesis boosts. We're going to have to try to cancel that out with Titar Sandstream. Just get rid of that, right? Cool. So 2 0, looking to go 3 0 here. They're going to end up leading Tornadus and Fluttermane. This is exactly why I didn't want to lead Silence, man. Exactly why. And Sinisha actually takes some damage to Shadow Ball here as well. Which we don't like. They could go for Shadow Ball here early. They could definitely go for Shadow Ball here early. But I'm going to go for Trick Room here. I could always Rage Powder. And I could just try to like Steel if I really want to. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to like Steel and just go after his Flutter Me. A little Steel Terror. We're hoping. We're really hoping. We're really hoping no Shadow Ball coming in hot here. Shadow Ball. Not a friend of Sinistra's, right? Definitely not a friend of Sinistra's. So we're going to throw Assize Fluttermane. Probably go straight Fairy, right? Makes the most sense. And, oh man, this could be real rough for us. Dazzling Gleam and Bleak Wind Storm into Sinistra. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this. Hopefully you go for Tailwind. I'm really hoping you go for Tailwind. We are going to go Steel Tower type with Salamence. But I'm really hoping you go for Tailwind. I doubt it though. This just, this just seems like they're going to double down into me. Look to do some big time damage to just KO my Sinistra. So Sinistra, please survive this. And go for Trick Room. And no, they go for Sunny Day. Cool. So this is what I thought they were doing in the beginning of the match. Popping Sunny Day with Photosynthesis. But I'm happy they're not going for Bleak and Storm, right? Dazzling Gleam going to get Cook and Sinistra. I just need you eating just Dazzling Gleam. And you do. I love you. That's big time plays. Critical hit on the Sinistra as well. Ouch. Air Slash going to fly here. Do half damage to Fluttermane. And guess what? Room is getting tricky. Tricky room. It's tricky, 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 tricky. <laughs> so there we go. Trick room out and about. Um, could rage powder. Could strength sap if I want to. Um, could throw a matcha gotcha. To be honest, and I'm just gonna throw a matcha gotcha, and I'm just gonna go for an air slash into this tornado slot. Because Fluttermane could protect here or even swap. We'll see. But now they got Sunny Day, they got Protosynthesis, I will bring T-Tart in the back end, but I'm looking to get rid of Tornadus first, right? If I get rid of Tornadus first, I can take out the Sun and just not have to deal with it for the rest of the match. So, much gotcha, gonna fly here. Should actually do a nice chunk of damage to me. Does. Not bad. Get back some HP. And I get to rip another Air Slash. Another lovely Air Slash. And we get a burn on Fluttermane. Wow. We like that. We get a burn on Fluttermane. I mean, Air Slash coming in hot here, doing some nice damage, and I'm gonna lose some HP to that. So Bleak Storm is gonna come across here. Uh, Salamence should soak this shot up, and from here we're just going to bring out our what's it called? Not our Titar, our Urshifu to get things started. I just love the Urshifu. Because again, I have to get rid of Tornadus in order to bring out my Salamence. Well, not my Salamence, my Titar. But of course you KO me. I thought you were soaking it. Now that hurts. Now they're just going to pop a free sunny day. And mm, kind of messing me up a little bit. Kind of messed me up. So yeah, they're just going to repop sunny day. Get all the protosynthesis boost. And from here. I wish I had like Swords Dance or something on Earth Fruit. Because I could just pop a Rock Slide and pick up a double KO. But from here, we're just going to pop a Rock Slide. Um... We're going to pop a sunny day. And we're going to go and finish off these Pokemon here. So, I'm going to go Surgeon Strikes. Don't want to lower my defense right now. Surgeon Strikes that slot and just Rock Slide. Just in case Fluttermane decides to protect or something. And it's a Witcher on Fluttermane. And you got to repop a sunny day, right? You have to repop a sunny day. You're going to go Rillaboom here. How dare you? Rillaboom coming out and about. And now we don't have Terror type either. Don't pop sunny day. Whatever you do, don't pop sunny day. I love you forever if you don't pop Sunny Day. They're popping Sunny Day. <laughs> yeah, no problem for them. No problem for them. So, yeah, they really take control of this battle here. Honestly, if my Salamence survived, we would have had a hot shot at winning this match up here. I would love to get an extra turn out of Salamence. Extra turn out of Salamence means we stop the Sunny Day. 
The real room still would have been a big threat. We kind of need that terror type here. It's Grass Guy not looking good. Rock Slide gonna connect. Not bad damage onto the Rillaboom. Not bad damage onto the Tornadus. And now from here, what's our play? Because they could play a little bit of protect games, right? I could maybe protect. Hope that Rillaboom's Grass Guide into that slot and kind of going from there. But if I had the guess, they're probably faking out the. Uh... Oh man, now Walking Weight comes in here too with Hydro Steam? Nah, <laughs> we don't like this. We don't like this one bit. How many turns left to trick him? Two? Two. I could maybe just double protect here. Just to stop fake out. And double down to walking wake. That might be my best bet. That's my best bet, to be honest. That is that is hands down my best bet of having a shot at winning this game. It is. It doesn't look good, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. So we have to dodge the fake out. Because if if we don't double protect here, he's just gonna fake out when he's and pick up a KO onto another one. All right, Hydro Steam coming here, and you just protect walking away, which is great, which is really good. Considering now you can't protect this turn, we don't have to worry about it. So Grass Guide flying. Grass Guide might just KO the Earth Spill, which is tough news, man. <laughs> it's so tough. It's real tough. And now I gotta go for a close combat into you. And on top of that, I'm just gonna drop a rock slide across the board and maybe get a flinch. Maybe get a flinch. Don't grass guide me. Go for a wood hammer. Wouldn't you rather go for a wood hammer? I feel like you'd rather go for a wood hammer. <laughs> this is so tough, man. Roll Boom's so good. It really is. Grass guy's gonna fly into the T Tar slot. I'm cool with that. Post combat's gonna fly here. Do some decent damage. Ken? The Slizzle KO. Ken Rock Slizzle KO. That's the real question here. It does. Rock Slizzle KOs. Beautiful. So now Flutter remains low on HP. I could Aqua Jet and hope that Aqua Jet KOs, which could be big for us, but oh man, dude. No Trick Room left. Grass Guy goes first. In the sun. I don't even know if Aqua Jet can KO this fight. We're making a run, though. How many turns are left in this terrain? That's the real question. That is the real question. Two. Two. I definitely have to Aqua Jet this thing. Aqua Jet Rock Slide. And you don't even survive that. Yeah, defense drop. I was hoping. I was thinking. I was like, this thing's minus one defense now. I don't even think it's soaking it up. Really hurts the soul. Dazzle Gleam's gonna finish this off. GG's to our opponent. Good game to our opponent. Solid little match. Came down to the wire. Thought we had that comeback. But we don't. Two and one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one showcasing Gardevoir in rank regulation F. Gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator. Honestly, forgot to do it in the beginning. We'll be leaving his link down in the description below. My boy Carlos, thank you so much for sending me this team over on Twitter. Like I said, love this team so much, and I feel like we showcased it really, really well. Gardevoir with Churkrim had Sinister to help us out. And then on top of that, Pre Marina, Urshfu, T Tar, Salamence. Great attackers all around the field that can cover most typing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.